I have been harassing every single friend I have in the theater community saying if you know of a class Please let me know if you go to a class. Please take me with you have ballet like you let me know if you're going to a lesson and call me for this video purpose I have challenged myself to go to tap every single week for four weeks straight four weeks in a row and then see how I feel about it Morning. It is week two. Last week was so fun. It's such a good time that I am really looking forward to this week, and I hope it's just as good. I'm showing you the Millennium, not the Beetlejuice, but also check in and moment before my hip hop class. I just got out of my second week in tap class. Today I signed up for two classes, so not only my tap, but I have, I'm staying for hip hop and my eyes are a little glistening because today's tap class was really, really, really tough. Really could not keep up today. I think it was really crisscross and everyone in the dance class could keep up and I could just really feel like the one trying to keep up and I was just trying to remind myself like look this is our second tap class it's okay just have fun just have fun because I could feel myself shutting down I cannot figure this out like I don't even want to go up and do the combination and they were sending us to do the combination by birthdays and I was just like my heart was fluttering there was a little brief moment that I was like okay when they say to go up and dance I'm not I'm just gonna not do it but then I was like I'm gonna regret it and feel disappointed that I didn't try so I did and yes I probably embarrassed myself a little bit because I didn't know the combination like everyone else in the class but I'm there to learn so I don't know what to do it can be scary I really want to keep working at this and I believe in myself but obviously it's just tough in these little moments where mm, the growing pains these are the growing pains but took my little moment do a quick pee and then it's time for hip-hop can't even believe i am like staying for another class a, there was a brief little part of me that was like i'm just going home i'm just gonna drive and go home but then i'm really really gonna feel bad about not being here and showing up for myself so i'm gonna stay and i pray that the hip-hop class i pray that the hip-hop class goes better so i can remind myself that this feels good this is good this is needed <sighs> That was so bad, you guys. No offense, but maybe I need a little more instruction than just tappa tappa tappa. I had to do it without tappa tappa tappa. I would have killed for tappa tappa tappa. <laughs> halfway there I have attended my first two and I have two left I am feeling what am I feeling I think I am living a little bit in fear for today's class last week the teacher taught a combination that the class I had already known and been taught before I did tell myself I had like a little quick mini pep talk obviously this is tough and it's gonna be a little extra tough because we don't know the steps so just like commit to trying but I could feel the whole class just like going on without me and i remember this moment of just having to stop and stand there like i'm so lost like i knew the beginning of the choreo and like now we're in the sequence and i have no idea where we even are um so i'm gonna just flap it out i could feel the tears swelling up out of frustration and i told myself just hold it in and try to make it through this class and at the end of it you can go to your car and have a moment and feel these emotions but i need you to just really focus and stay on. I was really really fighting myself in that last group before I had to go. Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? I really don't feel confident. I don't feel good about myself But if I don't do it, I feel like I'm going to disappoint myself. I came all this way I came to the class. I'm here to try. It's gonna be embarrassing But I really need you to just push yourself because I know that you will be more disappointed in yourself if you don't try And I was like <sighs> me to me you're right. So they call my birthday and I prop up my phone like I'm about to film myself in one of the most embarrassing moments of my life and I'm gonna show my friends on the internet. There were moments that I didn't know what was going on in the class, but for one thing I did know was that I do, I do belong here 
and that's enough. This feeling that I get when I show up to dance classes, dance studios, theaters, and auditions, it's that feeling of belonging. I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. And having that feeling of I belong here is enough for me to push me to keep going because it feels so right. And that might sound a little woohoo, woo woo, but that feeling's enough for me. I just learned from TikTok how to tuck in shirts. I was like, you guys are clearly not using a hair tie, which is what I know. That will definitely date me, but I would put a hair tie here or here and then just tuck it in. But then it leaves that big ball, which I understand, which is why we have moved on to this. It's very basic. I don't know why I thought I was actually looking up how to use the hair tie in a different way so it could hold up. In fact, there's no hair tie at all. No hair tie. You just tuck it in. Hip hop was so fun last week. I had such a bad tragic tap class, so like, let's hope this goes well. But hip hop was so fun. That was actually my very, very, very first hip hop class. I was just moving my body and really feeling good about myself. And the teacher was great. It was a huge class. We were in one of the big, big, big studios where there's even like a little window for people to watch you. And there's a camera that could like put the feed to show. Oh. Oh, this is so nice. Considering how the morning went, I was gonna go balls to the walls. I didn't really care how I looked or any sort of embarrassment. I had already embarrassed myself. I forgot to mention in my week one recap was that after class ended, I actually went up to the teacher and introduced myself and thanked her for giving us such a great class. And I don't know how after showing up and introducing myself, I ended up holding hands with her and we're like eye to eye and being like, yeah, this is my first tap class and just basically telling her probably my life story. I blacked out and she's like, I'm so happy you're here. And she was so encouraging and kind and she just feels so genuine and she's such a great teacher. I'm just gonna grab my dance bag, do one last pee for the road and then I am out of here. Wish me luck on week three. It's gonna be great. Today is the fourth week of TAP. This has to be the toughest week to wake up and go. It's always about that consistency and I can feel the motivation wearing off. Today I had to do the five, four, three, two, one rule and just count down and roll out and not think about it because I have to do it. And reminding myself that this is also a part of the job and sometimes you don't feel like doing the job, you're not really feeling it, but you still have to go because every single day is what makes up the big part. And in moments like these, I can really see the importance of needing to show up. I really want to be able to trust what I say in my word and, and I said that I would set out these intentions. So I don't want to skip out one day because then I feel like that gives me the permission later down the road to be like, oh, you, you can just like not go. When you convince yourself on the tomorrow, tomorrow, you never go. It's one tap class, one dance class, but it's one step closer to getting where I want to be. I am hopeful that today is my best one yet, but I am feeling confident to show up. I have like a friend or two to say hi to. I know where I like to stand in the class and I know where I like to park. It's day four, give us a good day. I wonder what we're gonna dance to. Since I started, we've been doing different songs each week. The teacher last week said that this week we would be finishing the choreo from last week. So I'm hoping we do stick to that and we get to do the same song so I can see if I progressed a little bit. I'm running late. I don't know why I'm over here just messing around. We have got to go, bye. Just got out of my fourth week. I have finally broken my tap shoes in. That I can say. I wanted to give you my honest thoughts and feelings. I wanted to do it after showering, but I feel like it's just so fresh right now. Stepping into the unknown is extremely scary. So much uncertainty and so much unknown in taking that first step of going to the studio. Not only just not knowing the tap technique of it all, like that was one layer, and then the other layer is where's the studio at? Do I know the area? Will there be parking? Will the teacher be nice? Reflecting on week one and week four, there has been a couple of different things. And the number one thing I wanna say about week four, I could feel that today that they were saying keywords that they were mentioning since beginning the week one but I wasn't picking up the words because I didn't understand them. And today when she was like, oh, we do a perididdle here, I knew exactly what she was talking about. And I was like, oh, you are learning terminology and you are learning, look at you. Yeah. Maury 
you spend in class, you start picking up on things. It's so obvious. I'm saying this and it feels like no duh. Of course you're gonna start picking up on terminology, on choreo easier, you're gonna meet people. But it's that first step that is so scary. It's so unknown and so uncertain. I've now through this experience realized how much I love being in my comfort zone and just staying in my own space. But stepping out into this new place has showed me not only number one, wow, we have a lot of work to do, but you can do it. They say get rich, so I can buy all that I want, but I've got all the smiles that I need. They say get famous, so everyone will know me, but that sounds like a movie I don't want. This is something that is adding so much color to my life and making it so much more fun. Totally encourage you to go find something that really makes you feel so alive and like you lose your own self in it you know don't try to be perfect just try to go thank you so much for joining me on this dance journey it is not done there is so much more dancing singing auditions and acting coming up i am also going to start looking for representation so i can start getting sent out on some bigger auditions you know right now i'm sending myself to every single open call i can get my hands on but i think it's time we call in some backup the journey is long Please make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for being here and I will see you very, very soon. It's been an ongoing process and I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna be able to release this footage or when this footage will be relevant or anything like that. But I wanted to check in because today I am going to be meeting with an agency that I am feeling really, really, really good about. A lot of things to look for when you are looking for representation and that person that you are about to begin this relationship with. And I've done extensive, extensive research with many agencies here in LA. I have met with a couple of different agencies and I don't know, this one that's about to happen today, I just am feeling really, really excited about. I thought I would turn on the camera and say hello and say that I am ready. And if it's meant for me, it's meant for me. It's meant for me, will not pass me by. They say settle down. I have completed four weeks here. So I'll just keep on chasing my dreams.